This tutorial consists of creating double beveled outlines. So to do so, we're going to open up a page. I'm going to choose a web format 124768 and click OK to that. The first thing I'm going to do, or well, the second thing I'm going to do is create a layer. All right, and that's going to be we're going to call this layer main. Now on the main layer, I'm going to choose my polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to choose that tool and come down here and choose the color that I like to work with. Say this, uh, let's go for something. I'll say this light blue. It's cool. And with this tool, I'm going to create a shape. And uh, I'm going to start to create a shape by clicking. I'm going to keep the shift key down, drag, click. And as long as I keep the shift key down, I cannot, I can only make, you know, uh, turns of 90 degrees, 45 degrees, or straight lines, just like this, as you see here. All right. So once you let go of the, of the shift key, well, you start to get all kinds of funky lines. So I'm going to keep the shift key pressed down. And once I'm happy with the length of my line, it could be like, say, right here. I'm going to click, come down, click again, go out, click, come all the way down, click, go right here, click, go up, put a little design in it like this, come back down, click. And uh, I'm going to click over here once. This one, click so. It's just a text shape that I'm creating. All right, and uh, set it like from here to about here. And at this point, I'm just going to double click to seal the deal. Here I have my marching ends and the uh, shape that I want. Once I have the shape, what we have to do now is color in with our color chosen for the foreground. I'm going to go to my keyboard, Alt Backspace, and it's filled in just like that. All right, this little pointy thing up here can be taken care of if we just uh, took a rectangular tool, let's say our eraser, change it to a block. We we'll just come up here and just nip this away. All right, we don't we don't need it. Just like that. All right, so it's gone. Now we have our nice little um, text square. The next thing we're going to do with that is we're going to create our double beveled outlines. Now, I'm going to go to the layer, to the main layer, press the Control key down, and left click to get the marching ants once again. Once I have the marching ants, I'm going to go to select, modify, contract. And here I want to contract by, say, 10 pixels. And once I do so, it's now telling me this will be the new shape created. All right? That's going to be the new shape created. And, and I like that shape like that. You know, before we go about doing this, what I'm going to do is right click over here and create a duplicate of that layer of the main layer because I don't want to lose it we're going to need it later on so using the main copy what I'm going to do with the marching ants right over here is I'm going to hit delete and now we have just this outline that's our that's our first outline now you see why I chose to duplicate the main um, you know the main graphics here and the main drawing is is duplicated in a sense because now that we have cut this first portion out I'm going to the second portion I'm going to control click on it again and this time I'm gonna to go to select modify contract instead of 10 I'm gonna go all the way to 25 at 25 this is what I'm gonna end up with right there and if that's not good enough you can always go back you can control Z from the keyboard go back to select modify Contract and make it 30. Click OK. This is now our new outline. 
and from this I'm not going to delete like I did before but I'm going to control J so control J from the keyboard is going to create a new layer a new layer that's going to be smaller than the first one this is the new layer that's created from this alright so now what happens if we turn off the main and add in our main copy and layer one we end up with this pretty neat now let's go to applying the bevels we're gonna apply the bevel to the first layer by highlighting it going to effects bevel from our effects tool let's bring bevel over here I'm happy with the way the bevel is well I'm gonna increase the depth to make it really strong the size to make it really stand out okay you know give it that metallic look and put a drop shadow on it like this I'm, I'm happy with that drop shadow so this is exactly what we're going to do for the other piece of our design and um, to maintain this exact style and look of the first bevel that we've created here all you have to do is go to that bevel which is this one it's called the main right click go down to the bottom and copy layer style once you copy the layer style you can actually go to another layer such as this layer that we're about to work on and I can right click go down to paste layer style and once I do that boom they have the exact same style applied to it and here we have a double bevel outline piece of graphic work that's how it's done